In this backpack, there's everything I'm bringing for a seven week trip in spring. I know it looks a little bit bigger, but it's just 24 liters. In 24 liters, I can fit everything I need for a spring trip. Although traveling in spring is a little bit difficult because weather changes so much. At the beginning of a trip in spring, weather is still cold. So I need to wear a lot of layers to stay warm. A wearing rain jacket, police jacket, shirt, t-shirt, best top. So yeah, a lot of layers to stay warm and everything I pack fits in this 24 liter backpack. So 24 liters. And towards the end of the trip, when the weather gets warmer, I don't want to wear all the layers anymore. So I can just wear well, a t-shirt and a skirt and pack all the warm layers because the expanded backpack has now 35 liters, which bulk here now doesn't count as a personal item anymore but it's still hand luggage and I don't have to wear that many layers just because I can't fit them in my backpack. By the way, I have all the products I use linked in the description if you want to buy any of the products I use. But yeah, let's have a look inside my backpack. We'll start with the main compartment, which opens up like a suitcase. <laughs> we'll start with shoes. So I have my sneakers here. They are waterproof and well, easy to pack because they're like barefoot shoes but actually they're not my only pairs I'm wearing oh my god I can't reach them for now I'm wearing my Chelsea boots and I brought the sneakers at first I only wanted to bring the sneakers since they are water resistant as well but I'm really glad I brought the boots because we're um, house sitting so we're going for a lot of walks in the woods with the dogs and it's quite muddy. So far I've actually mainly worn the boots because it's been quite rainy so far. Hopefully for the rest of the trip it will get more sunny and warmer and I will wear these sneakers more. Those are the two shoes I'm bringing. Now let's continue with the clothes. But before we look inside my packing cube full of clothes, I have my rain jacket. This has been a lifesaver. It's been very rainy so far. Very important rain jacket. I like that it's like you can crunch it up very small and pack it even smaller if you put more effort into it. But yeah, very important in spring. Then I have a fleece jacket, it's very warm. I wear it just like that, or I wear it also over my sweater if it's very cold, fleece jacket. And I have a scarf. And actually this scarf in summer, I sometimes use it as a beach towel. I don't think I'll need it as a beach towel now in spring, but yeah, scarf, keep me warm. And now let's have a look in my packing cube. I am bringing pyjamas. If you've watched any of my other videos so far, I always like to bring pyjamas, like sleeping in pyjamas. Um, long pants and short t-shirt for my pyjamas. Then I have um, a bathing suit, because actually in my winter packing video, you can watch that here, I forgot my bikini and I regretted it. But yeah, so far I haven't used it yet, but who knows, maybe we'll go to a spa in the next three weeks. Now let's come to the main clothes and here it's very important to have kind of like a color scheme going on at least so you can mix and match them so you can create more outfits from the pieces you have. So yeah you can mix and match everything. I am wearing a skirt now and some tights. I'm also bringing a second pair of skirt. Oh sorry a second skirt. Second skirt and with the skirts I'm bringing some leggings as well and the leggings are also my launching pants and they're so comfy. I thought I would only wear them like inside and underneath my skirt but they're really cool and actually I mainly wear them when we go for walks with the dogs. They're also a little bit thicker than my other leggings I had before so I like it. So they're a bit warmer but still very comfy. And the jeans, one pair of jeans. The jeans are especially, if the weather is a bit colder, I'm gonna wear the jeans. When it's even colder, I'm gonna put my tights underneath my jeans to keep me warm. In general, when the weather is cold, I just layer up. I wear like a lot of layers at once. Yeah, my jeans and a shirt. And once again, when it's very cold, I wear like a, two t-shirts on top of each other. Then my shirt and my um, fleece jacket and my rain jacket. So yeah loads of layers in case it's uh, cold and if it's warmer just like a top and my shirt and I'm bringing two t-shirts and second one so two t-shirts 
and I'm wearing one t-shirt now and I'm also wearing a vest top right now but yeah so all together I have three t-shirts one vest top so four tops and three bottoms and I'm also bringing a headband which keeps my head warm I really like it and I'm from Austria they're very common there but I don't know if they're common in other places that much because my boyfriend always jokes that that's how you recognize a person from Austria or Germany because they wear headbands. I don't know about that but they're super handy, they don't take up that much space and they keep my head warm. But yeah. Oh and I almost forgot, oh, I put it in the front pocket now, my dirty laundry bag. Oops. Dirty laundry bag with my underwear in it. So with the underwear I'm wearing, I bring seven pairs of knickers and seven pairs of socks and one sports bra, which I am wearing right now. And yeah, so seven pairs of underwear, which means I need to do laundry once a week. So it doesn't really matter how long your trip is, just bring stuff for one week and then do laundry once a week. That's it. Looks like a massive pile of clothes. Maybe it's too much. <laughs> That was all the clothes in my packing cube, like packing cubes, keep everything organized together. Now let's come to the toiletries. Um, as you can see, the biggest thing in my toiletries is my toothbrush. It's got a, a special travel case, which keeps it more hygienic for, well, transportation. And it also can clean it with UV light. So toothbrush, but yeah. Otherwise, my toiletries are very minimalistic because I don't use makeup. And yeah, so my essential toiletries are very essential. <laughs> but yeah, well, there's a plastic bag for airport security where I would put the liquids in. I have a hairbrush, which might need a little bit of cleaning. But yeah, one hairbrush, one soap, uh, shampoo. Actually, I only bring shampoo, I don't really use soap, but you could put soap and shampoo in there. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's very handy that it got a thingy. So in case you're in a bathroom where they don't have anywhere anything to put the soap bar on, you can just stick that to the wall of the shower. But because otherwise it's super awkward, like if you don't have a soap holder, like where do you put the soap? But yeah, so you can keep it. But otherwise I don't really um, keep the bag in the shower. But yeah, soap bag. Um, then I have one razor, I lost the head. One razor and with one spare head somewhere in here. Here's the spare head of the razor. And actually, I always put the razor in my liquids bag in the airport because my bag has been pulled to the side before when I had it in my normal bag. But yeah, if it's in liquid bag, it's like clearly visible and everything's fine if you travel with a the razor. Then I have <clears throat> facial cream, um, toothpaste. Uh, suntan lotion, which so far I haven't really needed that much, wasn't that sunny so far, but hopefully it will still get more sunnier. And yeah, and actually my body, usually I bring body butter as well, but it's empty right now and I haven't used it in a few weeks. But I do intend to get more body, body butter again. But yeah. Then we have nail clippers, nail file and tweezers, a hair bubble and a reusable cotton swab. Um, yeah, and that's it. So very minimalistic um, toiletries. You don't need that much. And now let's come to my electronics. We'll start with my laptop. Here we have like a special laptop compartment. Well, I always need my laptop with me because I work while I travel, work on my blog. But yeah, my laptop. And the other electronics, usually I had them in a packing cube as well, but with this new backpack, I thought I'll use the um, pockets of the backpack. So I have my Kindle, I like to read while traveling. Then I have all the leads for charging. One for, what's that one for? Oh yeah, to charge my power bank, to charge my phone, to charge my ebook reader. To plug in the USB stick and stuff in my computer. Then I have a power bank 
it's super handy while traveling because navigating and taking pictures takes up a lot of um, battery life from the phone so I always bring my power bank I have some headphones headphones and I have my travel adapter so yeah for different countries you only need one thing and you can charge multiple things at the same time that's very cool and then we have of course the charging thing for my laptop that's all oh and my phone of course i looked at that before for taking uh, for my notes as well yeah. and my phone of course and yeah that's all the electronics and now let's have a few more things in my um backpack oh so i almost forgot my lip balm i forgot that it was in here so it's more easily reachable while i travel and should go and make toiletries back. But yeah, lip balm. I have a day bag for day trips. I'm just, yeah, bringing my day bag um, with my water bottle and other things I need for a day out. So water bottle, day bag. Um, I always travel with my water bottle, so I don't need to buy single use plastic. So I just fill it up with tap water. And then I'm also bringing sunglasses. Um, so far, I haven't needed them much. Hopefully, get some here. Um, yeah, I always have it in my big, massive case. The case is quite big for sunglasses, but my sunglasses are quite big, and they are prescription sunglasses, so they're very expensive. So I always want to keep them safe in my big, massive um, sunglass case. And now we have a secret compartment at the back where I have my passport and my wallet. Oh, I forgot to show you how to expand the backpack. Um, I'll just close all the other pockets, so it's easier to see. And then I need to find the right zipper. Ah, here it is. And then you can expand the backpack and you can fit in a lot more. It goes from this to this. So unexpanded. It's 24 liters and expanded it's 35 liters. So if you expand it with this one zipper, it's 11 liters more. That's quite a lot for a backpack. Yes, that's everything I'm bringing on a seven week trip in spring. As I mentioned in the beginning, if you like any of the items I used in the video, um, I have links to them in the description. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.